Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own homemade candle. Let's get started. The first step in the process is to select your materials. The first thing that you're going to need to make a candle at home is wax. And you can use any kind of wax. You can use container wax, paraffin wax, even powdered palm wax. Um, or you can even use old candles, like I found these at a thrift store for a couple of bucks. Other items that you're going to need include candle molds, containers to melt wax in, wicking material, scents, dyes, and things to hold the wicks in place. An average candle made in one of these pillars weighs about 1 pound 4.9 ounces. So we're going to plan for about 3 pounds of wax. The next step is to set up a double boiler. So what I use is my melting pot, which still has my cubes in there. We're gonna wait and put the palm wax in later. And we put it into a pot where we put in a couple of inches of water, just enough to go around the bottom of the melting pot. And that way the direct heat is not hitting the wax, it's the indirect heat from the water boiling. Then we turn it on. While we wait for our wax to melt, we want to go ahead and wick our molds here. So what you do is you, you have this wicking material, and you just thread it up through the bottom. Each of these molds has a little hole at the bottom, and you just thread it through. And then we continue through. That way, we've got a nice little knot on the bottom, and actually it's the pressure of the knot that'll keep the wax inside. And we'll do this for both of our candles. For this one, we'll go ahead and trim it off. I like to give it a lot of room, just in case. And then we'll repeat for the other mold. Now that we have successfully wicked both of our pillar molds, we're gonna check over on our wax. Here in the double boiler, it is still simmering down bottom. It is melting nicely at the top. Uh, I recommend these probe thermometers. These things help. And you also should know the melting point of the type of waxes that you're using. For example, on this one, right now we're sitting at about 130, I'm still going up 140, 145, 147. Uh, the melting point of this wax is around 170 degrees. Most paraffin wax melting point is gonna be around 130 or 135. But it is now time to add the palm wax because it has a low melting point. So we'll just, Drizzle some of that into the mix. And let it get started. There we go. And we don't even really have to mess with it, it will do its own thing with heat. We've turned off our heat. Looks like our wax is all melted. A little bit of a yellow tint to it because of the palm wax. Uh, but now we're going to pour it into our molds. Now you can choose to add color to the whole pot if you want to do a uniform color throughout, or you can pour it in sections and color each section as you go, which is what I'm going to do for these two today. So first, we just add a little bit to each mold, just a couple of inches, or about an inch. Now that we've allowed a little bit of wax to dry at the bottom of each of these molds, we can go ahead and pour in the rest of our wax and uh, color it as we go. Um, most of this candle is going to be kind of a pinkish red color. I'm going to really kind of put a little bit of blue on the bottom and top. And then I'm also going to sprinkle some of this scent throughout as I fill the candles.
and now we wait. So I've waited overnight and I can feel that they have loosened up and separated from the mold, so I'm gonna remove them. See what we've got. Okay, let's see what's the bottom layer. Throughout. Nice. And there we go. And that is how you make homemade candles. You can experiment yourself with a variety of different shapes and styles and materials, so have fun with it and be safe. Thanks.